Good morning! Yay, it's Thursday! I am so excited about today. I love Thursdays. I love Tuesdays and Thursdays. Favorite days of the week. And, well, actually, I love Sundays too because that's the day I truly just relax. I don't worry about trying to empower or build. It just kind of comes naturally because I go to church and read scriptures and helping other people. So it's really... Tuesdays, Thursdays, those are days I look forward to. Saturdays I look forward to because of it's my family day. It's the day I get to stay with my family, Saturday and Sunday. Awesome. Anyways, this Saturday we got a huge softball tournament for my daughter, so that's what I'll be doing this Saturday and looking forward to that as long as it doesn't get rained out. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. And I really am looking forward to being able to talk with you. I've decided that I'm going to try to do Thursdays as a Facebook Live day, and I'm, that way you can interact on, on the uh, on the comment chat, and I can maybe respond to questions that you may have, and be able to just make this a little more personable is my goal. Last week I talked about rewriting your story, and this week I'm going to continue that a bit, but. I want you to really look at your life and ask yourself, where am I struggling? Are you struggling with motivation? You know, you know, just you just need that extra woohoo to get going. Are you struggling with negative thoughts? Are you struggling with, you know, trying to to know what to do in life? Are you struggling physically, mentally, spiritually, socially, emotionally? Where is it that you are struggling at? And then let me know. I, I really want to be able to help you in the best way I possibly can. We've had a lot of new members join. Thank you. I, I really feel honored and privileged to be able to have you join us. And I'm going to be talking about a concept I actually heard this morning. And uh, oh, I've got to find them. Oh, there's my notes. <laughs> I knew they were around here somewhere. So just so you know, every morning I go through and I have a conference call, a conference call, a mentoring power call or whatnot, where we get together every morning at 6 a.m. And I'm starting a new one at 5.30. Woohoo! Got to wake up excited for that one. But anyways, these are just a bunch of notes that I've taken. And a lot of the notes actually kind of reference you and also things in my life and how, how I might be able to help you. And what, one of the things that I want to talk about is the concept of a power poster. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is a power poster? And that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I've just got to flip, through, flip to it here really quick. One second. There we go. I want to talk to you about the concepts of a power poster. So we, a lot of times know what we don't want. But then when it comes down to it, we say, well, what do you want? And we even know less about that. And I've talked about how to get over that rut, how to move forward, how to accomplish the goals in your life and to design your life by using doing that exercise called the best year ever. Well, I want to go over this one. This is a concept I learned from three key elements. And I call it the power poster. They call it the IM poster or, or something else. But it's you create a silhouette just to represent you. And then inside that silhouette, you actually write the words that you want to be known for, that you want to be thought of when people think of you, that you want them to say these things about you. And here's an example of some of mine. I'm happy, smart, confident, charismatic, enthusiastic, motivated, virtuous, inspired, kind. I mean, it's I could go on and on and on. I'm great. <laughs> you are too. Just realize it. But you can see I've just filled it in, filled it completely in, head to toe about what I want the people to think about me and how I want to portray myself. And then as I embody that, as I bring that part of me on, then I can help other people. 
but the, I do something a little different that they don't talk about. So if you if you look at my poster, you see these little line. Whoops, I'm backwards here on the thing. <laughs> see these little lines that are drawn out that kind of extent. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. You can see these lines right here. Well, what that is is I as I hear these words described to me, either they're said to me or somebody's talking to me about, and they say, Wow, you really are confident, or you I then make a note. I'm like, Oh, I think that's on my my IM poster, my power poster. So I run back and I look at my poster and I go, Aha, yes, it is. And then I take and I draw a line. And I write the name of the person who said that about me. And this way, it's helping me to see that I am actually becoming the person I want to be. And as you can see, I've got, I've got all kinds of names written throughout. And I actually had one this morning. Somebody told me, and I've got a look on here. I think I say it. But it's... It's really a powerful thing is when you can really start to identify it, that it's not always the same people who are saying it. I mean, here I've got Shelly. I've got my children. I've got, you know, Tasia. I've got Zena. I've got Cox. I've got Valerie. I've got Renee. I mean, I've just got all these different people who have helped to verify and to give me proof that I'm becoming the person I want to be, which is so exciting because that's a whole purpose is to really be a better person so that I can help more people and that I can be able to go out into the world and accomplish the goals that I have. So I want you, this is your challenge. This is your homework this week. I know, dreaded homework, but I realize I need to start challenging you guys. I really need to start pushing you, trying to encourage you to take that step to becoming a better person. It doesn't do good enough just to talk about it. I need to give you some action steps. And so this is the action step. Create this poster. Create this poster. It's just create a silhouette of a person. It could be, you know, if you're into mountain biking or motorcycle or ballet or singing. I mean, your silhouette can be whatever you want it to be. I've seen some pretty awesome ones as, you know, like a ballerina and doing her little pirouette thing. And just that's what the person wanted to be part of them. And then inside of it, you can choose to write the words. I, I chose to write the words. I That way it's always kind of right here. I'm going to actually challenge you to actually put it on your wall. Or... You can take a newspaper and magazine articles and, and cut out the words that identify who you want to be. So if you want to be known as being creative, you would find the word creative and cut it out and put it in. Or you could write it in. Like I said, obviously you can see that I wrote it in. And then you're going to put that on a poster or on your, on your paper. As you hear these words and they're talking about you, draw a line out and write the person's name who said that so that it helps you to realize that you are becoming who you want to be. You are embodying the very things that you say make up you that it's actually coming out words to. And it's a realization. It's a focal point to you to be able to say, wow. This, I'm, I'm actually doing this. It's, it's working. Because a lot of times we don't celebrate the little successes in life. And this is a little, a little success is when you, when you hear somebody say, wow, you're really kind. It's like, bing! Oh, I, can go, I can't wait to get home so I can <laughs> write your name next to it. And sometimes it's like, do you mind me asking your name? <laughs> but it really is a, a wonderful opportunity to be able to Take this to be able to start living it and then watch how it changes us for the better and for the future. And that's what I had for you today. So here's your challenge. Create your power poster, a silhouette of you. And inside it, you fill out the words that you want to describe you. No matter what those words are, 
you know, powerful, amazing, engaging, supportive, creative, sexy, smart, beautiful, gorgeous, exotic, sexy, handsome. I mean, whatever it is that you want to be known for or you want to have happen to you. And look for it. So if you're, for instance, if you're wanting to be sexy, it may not even come from your spouse or a boyfriend or girlfriend. You may just all of a sudden have a, a stranger say something to you. I heard a story about a lady who did this. I mean, a, a, a guy who did this. And the, <laughs> the lady in a checkout line said, well, aren't you sexy? And she's like, I can't believe I just said that. And this man's like, aha, <laughs> that's what I wanted. And so he was shocked that it came from a stranger. But that's okay because you are embodying who you want to be. So if you want to be sexy, go be sexy. If you want to be smart, go be smart. Just write it down so that you can constantly look at it, put it up on your wall, so you're constantly looking at it and engaging with it and become the person you want to be. You're amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for sharing this. Please share this with your friends, your family, these little things that I'm talking to you and teaching you work. If you start implementing, you'll start seeing the changes. You're amazing. Believe it. Have a wonderful day.